mantra of the American dream is to advance yourself with hard work, ingenuity, innovation. You can have it all. The frightening reality of the gospel. Jesus does call us to give up everything we have. And he may tell any one of us to sell all of our possessions and give them to the poor. But we don't believe this. If we form Jesus to look like us and be who we want him to be, then even when we gather together and sing our praises and lift our hands, the reality is we are not worshiping the Jesus of the Bible. We are worshiping and singing to ourselves. We have a master who demands radical obedience. A mission that warrants radical urgency. And we do not have time to waste our lives living out a Christian spin on the American dream. The most glorious reason you exist is for the proclamation of the glory of God to the ends of the earth. And it's more than having a nice life. It's about giving our lives and our families and our jobs for the proclamation of the glory of Christ to the ends of the earth. If we're going to live for the sake of 4.5 million lost people and thousands and thousands and thousands of kids who are dying every day because they don't have food on their table, then that means radical change in our lives and our families and the church. Church, we are plan A and there is no plan B.